Najinsky's son, little bit restless, gate 11. Sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker. Optimus, one of the trailers early on with Fire Island. On settling down, Uzo is the leader. Angel Landings going around them to be prominent shortly after the start. Rebel Circus, Dante's Rock, the Grey Crusader. Manalu's Ventures on the outside of runners. Then comes Royce Collusion. Najinsky's son is on the outside. They are followed by Cathedral Cove. They're keeping off that inside running rail. Then Optimus and hit and run as the trailer and it's racing eight lengths off the leader angel landing is in front rebel circus second uzo's third yellow sleeves and cap Minilu's Venture and the Great Crusader, they travel together. Then comes Dante's Rock, further back as Fire Island, Cathedral Cove, Najinxi Sun, then Optimus. Top of the lane, Angel Landing leader, Dribble Circus, the first one to challenge. Uzo's on the inside. The Great Crusader's going to go between horses and down the inside of that Dante's Rock. Rebel Circus also a runner. Uzo at the front at the 200, the Great Crusader. Rebel Circus is on the outside, then Minilu's venture it's still Uzo Great Crusaders trying to close it down but Uzo's in a galloping mood and Uzo's going on to win Uzo's got it won second position the Great Crusader third to Rebel Circus and then Dante's Rock Number 14, Uzo, 5 Rand 10 the win. And this is the gelding by Kirari, Alison Wright, bred by Dr. R. R. Haynes, Bran Larina. Well done to Michelle Nyrick, who's the winning owner. Third time at the track for Uzo, so had the experience on the poly, and Uzo comes home to win it from the tote. Favourite second, number 5, the Great Crusader. Third placing, it's about six lengths back to Rebel Circus number three, and then number seven, Dante's Rock. Toad favourite was number five. The well detached field, further back in the run, Munalu's Venture, and then came Fire Island, Cathedral Cove, and then Angel Landing, and further back, Roy's Collusion, and then Optimus. So as we look at the head on, and your winner is still under the hands, and it is Uzo. Brandon Arena just punching out the Great Crusaders with the green cap. But victory is for number 14, Uzo. Until the running of race 5, starting off our jackpot, back to the studio. Just seen Uzo come through and win with a bit of authority down to the last 200 meters. He's a horse who would have enjoyed the switch to the poly today. Yeah, Sheldon, we were actually quite keen to see him on the grass. You know, he's a really nice horse. Um, he's come along the, uh, the right way. He was one of those horses as a baby. Whenever there was something wrong, it was with him. So, um, yeah, very relieved to get him here in the winner's box and hopefully he can go on and win a few. Well, you've started in the winner's box now. You've got a horse called Roy's Pony later on. Done well on the poly. Yeah, I think uh, for her, certainly was a, a good move. She, you know, she's got small little hooves, so soft going on the grass wouldn't have been any good. But she's got a bad draw to overcome, so let's just hope she can get a bit of luck in the running. Just uh, well done to Dr. Haynes, to Michelle Nyrak, and um, to the guys at home. They work hard, and yeah, nice to get another winner. And uh, thanks to Brandon. Nice ride, and uh, yeah, well done. Super. Let's get Brandon into the picture here. And of course, Michelle Narek's colours, the yellow and black silks. Now, he's a horse who looks quite progressive. Yeah, yeah, sure. He's a lovely horse. Um, and I think he was prepared very well for today. Come on nicely from his last run. And, uh, you know, he took the, the race almost by the scruff of the horns. He was also at, elected a, bit, a little bit quicker than him. But uh, he always had a lot in reserve. Good to get into the winner's box. Of your rides coming up later in the day, anything that you can point the punters in the right direction? Um, Cormier Winter is trying a mile again, uh, so we we got a lot of question marks in. Uh, I think I alluded to Roy's Pony's chances. We just got to get a bit of luck from the draw. Well done. Thank you. Hold on to Michelle, and, and again, thank you to Kevin L for the continued support. Thank you to them. Brandon Arena bringing home the goods on Uzo. Well done to Michelle Narak, the Haineses. He's come through with a bit of ease the latter stages.
11 sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker. Optimus one of the trailers early on with Fire Island. 